Now that the Tokyo Summer Olympics are over, all eyes on Beijing for the 2022 Winter Games. If you can believe this, they start in less than six months. WCNC Charlotte's Kendall Moore shares the story of one Winter Olympian training in Charlotte who hopes to make it back to the Games. When Simadele Adiagbo trains in the heat of the Charlotte summer, She's thinking cool thoughts for the winter with her sights set on the 2022 Beijing Olympics. I don't want to leave anything on the ice. Adiagbo became the first Nigerian Winter Olympian, representing her country in the 2018 Pyeongchang Games. She competed in skeleton, hurling herself headfirst down an ice track at 90 miles an hour becoming the first African and black woman to compete in the Olympic sport. Nigeria had never been represented at the Winter Olympics, so that was a huge moment. And then, of course, racing at the Olympics and that time that I did my first run and just knew that as I was taking those steps on the ice, I was breaking barriers. But her Olympic dream started far from the ice as a track and field athlete for the University of Kentucky in the triple jump. She even tried out twice for the Summer Olympics. When that didn't work out, obviously I was very disappointed. You know, you work your whole life for something and you don't make it. It, it hurts a lot. Go, 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 go. Ten years later, she saw an opportunity to transfer her track and field skills to skeleton, using her power, strength and speed to set her Olympic dreams in motion, learning the new sport roughly 100 days before the last Winter Olympics. Now she's training for more, even taking up the monobob. Going back is really about putting it all out there, giving it my best and uh, representing my country the best that I can. Adiagbo trains an average of six to eight hours on her longer days. Charlotte becoming her home base amid the pandemic. She has to fly to facilities across the country and around the world to do runs on the ice tracks. All of her equipment and efforts self-funded. It's why she set up this GoFundMe to raise money for her Olympic dream. I'd love your help and your support. I'm super excited about what this could mean, opening the door and uh, bringing more athletes in that look like myself um, and can uh, bring a greater representation of humanity to the Winter Olympics. Each workout in the heat getting Adiagbo closer to her goal. Really the end goal for me is how does this inspire and empower the next generation of dreamers, particularly young women and girls. Hoping she makes it back to the Olympic track for the world to watch Simi slay in her sleigh. In Charlotte, Kendall Morris, WCNC Charlotte. Wow, what an event to compete in. We certainly wish her a lot of luck in going for her dream.